What's up guys and welcome to a 26th C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. As promised, uh, I'm going to teach you about something called the size of uh, method. So, um, and it's really not that hard to, uh, to understand or to explain, so um, we're just going to create a new source file and have some basic information. And now, simply enough, you just create a C out statement. Now type S I Z E O F size of parameter and um, int parameter, and I'll finish off the C out statement. So um, actually, this method uh, size of takes one parameter, and um, the parameter it takes. Uh, can uh, can be a data type, you know, like an int or a string or a boolean or anything. Uh, but it can also be a variable with either a int data type or a bool data type or whatever it is. But we're just going to use the data type right now. So we just type C out uh, size of int. This will print out the um, the size in the computer memory that an integer variable has. So um, to see what I mean, hit F9. And you know what I mean, you know, just save the file as, um, well, let me save this as size of method. And as you see, it says 4. So actually, it tells us that the data type of int, uh, the size of that is 4. Now, if you try and uh, change this to a bool, hit F9, you see that the, um, the size in the computer's memory of a bool is 1. Character is also 1. A double is Eight, and uh, you know that kind of makes sense because you know a double holds a numeric value two, and when a int is four, the double should be eight. You know that's probably one of the causes why they called it a double two. Also, we can try out string, and that also has four. So well, this just tells us that uh, some data types have the same size. Also, we can try one more data time, which I haven't even taught you about uh, yet, and it is float. I don't know uh, what it holds, but uh, we can try. It also holds for, and that is, um, yeah, float is a, I can show you how a float is defined up here. I can actually just teach you while I'm uh, using float right now, what a float is. So we just type F-L-O-A-T, like the data type in float. We're just going to call this x, set it equal to um, 0 0.5f, and I see my colon. You put the f to show C++ that this is not a um, this is not a double, but it's a float. So that's why we put uh, this f. And now we try and say c out x and hit f9. It'll print out 0 0.f, no 0 0.5, but without the if, because you know that's not a part of the value. That's just a um, character identifier to show C++ that this is a float. So um, that's your real quick tutorial on uh, the size of method, method, and in like um, 15 seconds explanation on what a float is. So um, I'll see you in my next tutorial.